we're going to sort the array alphabetically. You could do that as well numerically if it was um, uh, an array of numbers like integers or floats it will then sort it nu numerically as well in order um, in ascending order so it will be going upwards and now what we want to do we want to sort it as well alphabetically so let's do that we use a sort function and we enter the name of the array in this case it's called color and that sorts the array for us alphabetically and we're going to try this later on in NetBeans to see what the results are so now let's do another for each loop so that's for each and then the name of the array like before color and then what we need to do as value and this time what I want to do is I want to echo the values I'm not gonna do a line indent and so on and separate I'm just gonna put it all in one line and maybe separate them with a comma so let's do that this way uh, we um, echo let's do this in a separate line so it's clearer so we do echo and what we do oops so all we've done, we've said echo and we've put it in brackets and quotations so it treats it as a string and it will enter the value here and separate it by a comma and maybe a space. So it should enter it alphabetically as a string of, of values. Right, how about actually making use of what we did up here? we want to identify what was deleted from the array what was the first element and what was the last element we could do that by simply using the echo statement again and this time I'm gonna use the BR BR is basically a break so it would basically do a return it will do line by line rather than just um, entering all in one line so this is the HTML tag if you're not familiar and this would remove first element and the first element we called it first in this case and I close this statement and I do another echo again we use BR so it does a line break removed last element was last and that's it simply this is the code so we, what, we, what it does here it would enter the values here and then it would print out the first element that we deleted and the last element that we deleted.